Hello, I'm doctor in charge of Turkish baby unit at Izmir Medical Point Hospital. Couples come due to infertility after a year of unprotected sex. In women, AMH levels from egg reserve tests and the third day of the period. We're checking some hormone tests today. To assess ovulation, it's day 21 of the menstrual cycle. Progesterone levels need evaluation today. For men, we assess the spermogram test. In the test, we assess the count, motility, and morphology of the sperm particularly. If there's any problem with these, we can do more top-level tests on the man or send him to urology for examination. Our third test, besides the other two, is the SSG test to evaluate tubes. Using these three test results, we identify infertility causes and provide treatment accordingly. Not like we're doing IVF for every couple. Maybe we can do vaccination, keeping track of the eggs. When it comes to our patients who undergo IVF, we generally see that we perform around 1,200 IVF procedures per year, and our pregnancy rates are around 55%, which are higher than the global average pregnancy rates. One of the critical factors contributing to the success of pregnancy is the age of the woman undergoing the process. As women get older, unfortunately, our success rates decrease a bit. And as egg reserves decrease, our success rates in IVF also decrease. Of course, in terms of factors related to men, we can increase our success with some advanced sperm selection techniques or some advanced practices, or with some additional methods at the laboratory level in couples who have previously experienced fertilization failure. That's why it's important to carefully examine patients and it's necessary to ask detailed questions about the cause. As a result of this inquiry, we need to request the necessary tests and evaluate our couples step by step accordingly and treat them. By addressing the root cause, we can observe that we are able to achieve predominantly positive outcomes in couples.